Hey guys, I'm Brad of Brave the Woods. Today I wanted to walk you guys through a digital painting that I did the other night of this adorable little piglet uh, based off some photo I, reference I found online. And uh, hmm, now, now that we're talking about it, he does look a little familiar. As soon as I decided to draw this piglet, I was like, I know what style I want to do it in. Uh, I used to do a lot of acrylic painting and I use very broad strokes. I just worked looser in general and I like to throw in a lot of random colors. So I was like, I'm going to do that, but I didn't really want to bust out my easel and paints all over again. So I'm doing it on the iPad Pro with the Procreate app. And if you want to follow along with me today, go ahead and look in the description below and there's the link to the brushes that I'm using. So let's get started. To start things off, I went and searched for pictures of cute little piglets online, and let me tell you, there are some darn cute little piglets out there. <laughs> Once I found the one I liked, I opened up Procreate and then just dragged the Safari icon to the right of the screen so that I could see my reference in the browser at the same time as my Procreate screen. It makes it easy just to look over while I'm drawing, and also for searching other references at the same time, so it's definitely a handy feature. Next, I started blocking in base colors to fill in the main shape of the pig. As you can see, I got bored really quick and started painting in details on the snout instead. Oftentimes, actually, when I'm working on illustrations like this, I fully flesh out one portion of the illustration just to see how it'll work out before putting in a ton of time everywhere else. And it gets me excited to do the rest, so there's that. <laughs> After the base colors are blocked in, I just start introducing different values of that main pink color to try to establish light and dark areas for some dimension. You'll notice that I just keep painting over the same bits over and over and over again, and that's totally fine. For this, I did all the painting on one layer so that I would have to make decisions quicker and just keep working on it, not dabbling on multiple layers. Having tons of layers is great uh, for a lot of illustrations, especially ones with lots of components and if you need to edit them quicker. Um, but this painting is just a fun painting. I just wanted to, to play around with it. And it's a large canvas. So in Procreate, it kind of limits how many layers you're going to be able to make anyways. So I just forced myself to work quickly and make bold marks and color decisions. And if you haven't tried painting that way before, it's super freeing. You should try it out. You'll notice I bring in some blues, purples, and even greens, and that's because it really goes well with that background color, and naturally the background color would be reflected on the skin of the pig anyways, but it's just another way to pull it all together. So don't be afraid to add in some bold color marks here and there. It can help guide the viewer's eyes to more important parts of the piece, or it can just make it more visually interesting. If you didn't notice already, I veered a bit from my original reference image and made his nose, eyes, and ears a little bit bigger. It helped me make the perspective a bit more extreme and arguably made the pig a little bit cuter, but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, so use reference images, but don't feel like you're required to draw it exactly as you see it. Take some creative liberties and turn it into something that you can claim ownership over. Well, 
Well, there he is. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint this little guy. He was so much fun. Uh, it was fun getting really loose and not worrying about all my layers and all that stuff, just going and painting for fun. And uh, hopefully there's some good tips in there that you guys can use moving forward in your own digital painting. And as always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.